Welcome back. Now it's time to address the hottest topic these days in the media. Uh, to that end, we have with us the lawyer in the case of Casey Anthony. He's uh, Mr. Bias. Uh, Mr. Bias, uh, let me start by asking you, why do you think this case has become so mediatic? Well, everyone wants to know what happened. How in the world can a mother wait 30 days before ever reporting her child missing? That's insane. That's bizarre. Something's just not right about that. Well, the answer is relatively simple. She never was missing. Kaylee Anthony died on June 16, 2008, when she drowned in her family's swimming pool. On June 16, 2008, after Kaylee died, Casey did what she's been doing all her life. Hiding her pain, going into that dark corner, and pretending that she does not live in the situation that she's living in. And it all began when Casey was eight years old and her father came into her room and began to touch her inappropriately. And it escalated and escalated. Casey Anthony was raised to lie. Sex abuse does things to you, it changes you. This girl at eight years old learned to lie immediately. She could be 13 years old, have her father's penis in her mouth, and then go to school and play with the other kids as if nothing ever happened. Nothing's wrong. That will help you understand why no one knew her child was dead. Why she acted as if it never even happened. Casey should have been stronger. Casey should have called 911. Casey should have done the right thing. And that's what she's guilty of. She's not guilty of murder. This is a sad, tragic accident that snowballed out of control. But law enforcement have murder in their minds. This couldn't be an accident. That's not sexy enough. We've got some bizarre girl over here lying to us and telling us this outrageous story and the media loves it. They are eating it up. Well, we are not the media. And we are not here to speculate and to draw in viewers and to sensationalize life. We have to stay focused. I understand. But Mr. Bias, uh, if you were to address the jury, why or what would you say to them uh, so that they will exculpate your, your client? Well, what I would say to them is when you're back in Pinellas County and you're sitting around the dinner table and someone says to you, why did you find Casey Anthony not guilty? You're going to say, they couldn't tell me how she died. They couldn't prove this was a murder. They couldn't prove this was a manslaughter. There was no evidence of any child abuse. There was no motive. And that's why we voted not guilty. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Vice. You're welcome.